Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I will teach you how you can play Arena Breakout Infinite using your 4 GB graphics card. So most of the people who are having like 4 gigs of VRAM in their system, they are not able to play Arena Breakout, right? So I'm going to show you how you can bypass the system requirement message on 4 gigs of uh, graphics card and we're going to do it right now. So, okay. So first of all, the important part, please don't skip it. I mean, some of the people literally skip the backup part and they then ask me on discord that how do i restore stuff back so please listen to this carefully so this is a script okay first of all this is a script it's right here this is a script which triggered as virus for some reason but it's not a virus i can give you that and it's not doing anything fishy to the system i did run it on my own system on this system right here i did run it i'm gonna run it again just to show you guys so uh, before downloading the bypass from the description down below Make sure to open your Windows Defender of whatever antivirus you have, okay? So now you need to go to Manage Settings inside the Virus and Threat Protection Settings. You need to disable Control Folder Access. This is the first thing. Second thing, you need to disable Real-Time Protection, Cloud Delivery Protection. Basically, you need to disable everything in your antivirus. Otherwise, this file will get deleted. So make sure to do that. Also, when you download it on the Chrome or something, you might get a some sort of weird message. So you need to open like the download list. And after that, you need to click on there. There's a three dot icon right uh, in front of the file. You need to click on that and allow dangerous download or something. Just Google it. You will find the guide. If I find something, I will provide link in the description below. Okay. So uh, once we've done all this and we got our bypass right here. Now what, what you need to do Take backup of your PC first of all. I suggest you do that. If you got any important photos, any important documents or data or whatever, just uh, upload it to like cloud or something. Okay, so uh, once you guys done everything that I told you up until now, we're gonna run the arena breakout right here. Mine is already running. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna launch the game. And when the game is launching, we need to like pick up this file. Okay, pick up this file, this uigame.fumo. Now anti-cheat is initializing. Once this message disappears, we're going to drag and drop this on the exe file right here. And then we're going to drag it. Now click on yes. You will get like a UAC pop-up and it should start working right here. That uh, So it's basically uh, some Brazilian guy made it. So it's in uh, Brazilian language. But uh, it did say that uh, uh, bypass verification of hardware bypass uh, is success. I, I don't understand Brazilian of course, but <laughs> well, anyway. Okay, so uh, now as you can see, the game is running and uh, the requirement just got bypassed. So I have a 6GB uh, VRAM PC. Okay, so the game should be working fine because I'm already using my own bypass, right? So uh, so the thing is, there's a guy uh, in my Discord server who gave me this bypass. He personally using it, by the way. And uh, he said that it's working great. So uh, I got another guy who, who really wants to play the game on, on his uh, rogue ally, okay. So he tested the script on a rogue ally first, uh, right in front of me, of course. He did like screen, uh, screen sharing and uh, test it out. So it's working fine. Nothing happened to his rogue ally, like uh, some sort of like password stealing or something like that. So nothing fishy happened. So I can give you that, that it's a safe script. It's not like some sort of, you know, uh, Bitcoin miner or some sort of virus or anything. It did uh, trigger as Trojan. I can give you that. It does triggering as Trojan for some reason. It's probably because it's doing like the bypass uh, thing. But uh, so far it's working great. You only need to run it once by the way. Also one more important thing guys. Uh, if you want to like remove this. Like I'm done with playing. I'm not feeling very safe. To how, how do I remove uh, what this thing changed. So I said you. So in that case I highly suggest you to reinstall your windows you can try it uh, like uh, removing arena breakout completely because it does modify the files in arena breakout directory basically but i suggest you completely reinstall windows because that would be much more helpful than removing arena just arena breakout okay so that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed this video if this video helps you make sure to leave a like on there and if you need any help join my discord server or comment down below i will try my best to help you out if the problem is big we're gonna take it over to discord and i'm gonna try my best to help you out with that and i'm gonna see you in the next one guys and make sure to subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot and uh, i might stream arena breakout very soon on the channel so stay tuned for that as well and if you if you need any if i find any other fix for 4gb ram i will be sure to post it on the channel and i'm gonna see you in the next one guys have a good day